Shout out to you brothers over there. But um, according to a Philly news outlet, Billy Penn, a former Philadelphia cop, has filed a lawsuit uh -oh. against Meek Mill and Jay-Z over the documentary. Now, Shakita Williams appeared in one of the episodes that details Philly's do not call list, an index of 60 cops who the DA steer clears of bringing to court to testify due to their credibility. Now, we've seen that on Netflix. Yep. The Meek, um, Amazon. You know, um, yeah, Amazon. Okay, my bad, my bad. Good thing you uh, clarified that. Mm. Now, um, described as an unofficial list that names one of 60 cops who the district attorney's office avoids summoning to testify in court due to credibility issues. Now, her lawsuit says that in the inclusion of her name and photos amounts to um, defamation as she is painted as being crook. Now, she was arrested for firing a gun during an off-duty altercation outside a bar. She was later acquitted. Now, um, it goes on to say it lends the impression to the ordinary person that she was a corrupt police officer, that she lied or perjured herself, which is not true, said Williams, her lawyer. Um, that's the foundation of the lawsuit. Now, it does name um, Jay-Z, Rock Mason, Amazon, and Werner Media as the people that are being sued, as well as um, Meek Mill. What are your thoughts? I know that was a lot there, but what are your thoughts about this being as though you've seen the um, story and you've seen the part? with the cops in there as well, you know, and how that went down. Your save your tears, save your time, <clears throat> save your lawsuit. Now, if there was negligence on behalf of Jay-Z, Amazon, the people who created the, um, the documentary of Meek Mill, having names and figures who did not belong, okay, omit them. But I don't want to hear that it paints a picture that you were a dirty cop when it was so much dirty shit and corruption going on right. and keeping these brothers behind bars, keeping these brothers in the system that was ultimately going to find them behind bars. You took part in that. You ate it. You were better than that. I don't want to hear your tears now. Save them. Yeah, and it's like when you look at the defamation thing, they always say that the only um, response to a defamation is the truth. When you say, oh, somebody defamed my character, well, now nah, here's the truth. And like you said, you brought out the truth. You was on that list of those um, 60 cops who the DA wouldn't bring in the court because of their credibility. You know what I'm saying? Period. So that kind of is what it is. Um, again, you're going against powerhouses, Amazon, Rock Nation, Jay-Z, Meek Mill. Billionaires. Yeah, straight billionaires across the board. So it's not going to be, you know, a good thing. But again, I mean, people hold that right. Anytime you look at, you know, especially us being in media, you know that people's images and likeness and everything. Um Anytime it's used without their consent or permission, they always have the right to try to seek remedy. Don't mean they're going to get it. Yep. And yep. they're going to a lot of legal fees and a lot. I mean, no, you see a lot of white cops doing this and getting mad and crying wolf because they're so used to being above the law and nothing ever happening to them. So anything even shine in a dark light, there's a, a T-shirt created or there's something and there's a victim that has to be created from the wrongs they've done. Save your fucking tears. Right, right. And then, you know, I, I guess they'll bring up the um the fact that she was arrested for firing her gun at an off-duty um, altercation outside a bar where she was acquitted. That don't mean nothing when I see a cop get acquitted no. because you're in the same system. Like, they're going to protect you. We've seen that firsthand during ARS federal trial. Like, the system protects the system. So what are you saying? She was mad that they brought that up? Um, No, she she's pretty much using that as, as like, to say, like, you know, I'm cool. Like, yeah, something happened, but I was acquitted of it. So, so I'm not, you know, you can't you know, tarnish my, you know, uh, um, image and my credibility because yeah. of that is what they're bringing that up for. In my opinion, you're above the law anyway. No shit. Yeah. You were acquitted. Like yeah. You but you got, I mean, you know, something that big on Amazon, like we say, um, they got to know something was going to come out of that. That's the risk that you take again in media mm -hmm. using people's image and likeness. It just is what it is, man. They ready. She don't got Amazon money. So they good. Or Jay-Z money for that matter. Yeah. They good. Rock, Rock Nation loves to stay in court. So, <laughs> Sending brothers and sisters some flowers and shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, but that was a joint that just popped up. Definitely wanted to um go over that one. And just real quick, let me plug it real quick. Um, the documentary is called Free Meek, and you can check that out if you have Amazon on Prime Video. Um, it's a it's great. That joint is crazy. It's now, dope. a few months back, we did our little review on that. Man, excellent, excellent story right there. Definitely check Heart it out. Breaking, Free Meek. You know what I mean? Um, Educate. You know, no disrespect, though, to him. I mean, if that's your thing, that's your thing. I just didn't know that it went that deep. But salute to him if that's how deep it goes. And you had to work for those letters and you take it serious like that. I had no problem with that. It goes very deep. And that's why I didn't want to talk about it without getting some proper context from brothers right. that are in it. Right. Just saying, oh, it was disrespectful. Oh, no, I wasn't that disrespectful. It was just a sweatshirt. Now, what does it mean to the brothers that had to earn them letters yes, and sit back and really do it now? Even in. All right. Let's correlate it with the gang. 
uh. Bloods, Crips, whatever, they had to earn that. Yeah, nah, it's it true. It was something they had to do to go through that. Even like he said, police, whatever the case, there was a trial and error that you had to go through to earn that. So I can understand how if you see somebody with it on and you ain't put in the work, nah, dog, you can't wear that. I can honestly say if we went through something and we had colors or we had right. something that we had and we honored and I see somebody just running around with it, running around slick, oh, no, I'm going to have some issue with that. And I'm damn sure going to press you. It's honor that goes with that. Now, like you said, I don't know how deep it goes. I can't wait to have these brothers on the platform so we can get deep into the history of fraternities because I also asked them that. We didn't get into that. What about Boosie's initial response? I know he kind of, at first, he was arrogant. Like, I can wear what I want. Mm. And then I guess he, I don't think he got scared. I don't think he was ever scared of nope, nothing like that. We know he's a street dude, but like you said in the beginning, he realized that it was something sacred to these people. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to be a humble dude, a real dude. And just admit my mistake, and you know, like, all right, you know what? As a matter of fact, you'll show me the dance. Bootsy is I, a you gotta salute that. Bootsy is a real nigga. Yeah, yeah. And I guess he's seen the genuine authenticity behind the people that was saying the real stuff, not the people trolling, not the people just running their mouth, but how serious it was once you went to maybe some of the elders, right? In some of these chapters, nah, this is taking a little deeper. All right, I can correlate that to how I live and the kind of code that I live by. So I'm gonna do the honorable thing. And then, like my man said, the uh, Miles the Kappa, he was saying that. They stroll to his song. So I guess they do their dance to okay. wipe me down. Wipe me down. Oh. Right. So he learned that. So he wanted to throw out some homage and like, you know what? I'm going to learn y'all dance. It's all love. I think that was some real shit, man. I appreciate Bootsy for that because you've seen him on many occasions be unapologetic about a lot. And something in me when I first saw this was hoping he didn't go there. But he properly, you know what I mean, got educated. On it. They started hitting him up, all the fraternity people, because it's mad of him. And it, they started ripping him. And it's one thing, like, people can say all you want about, you don't know, read this and that. If you got these social media accounts, you're getting these messages. If you're like going that, live every day, you're reading this. Shit. Yeah. And then it's like, you boosty. So you got way more messages than, a, you know, the average person. Unless you turn it off, you want to see that stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's going to, it's going to mess with you, you know, your uh, person. So salute, though, man. We, I think with all this, we got to learn. You know a little bit more about the fraternities and whatnot, and um, we got to see, you know what I mean, um, a situation be resolved in front of us. That's dope. I can't wait to have the brothers with their colors on sitting next to us and having yeah. conversations about it. It's gonna be real dope. I man. ain't never so, wearing one of those. <laughs> I know now. Nah, my ass <laughs> nah, exactly. Why they got them? In, my, my main question would be, why they got them? And people in the comment section answer this. Why are they in stores for sale? But where did he get it at? Oh, I mean, I get it. Cause it's I think like, he grabbed it from a store, but I, I could be nah, wrong. No, but I get it. I mean, it's, it's almost like you can see a Freemason shirt or something laying around at some certain store. It's like mm -hmm. maybe if you win, you want to get one. Maybe a Kappa somewhere is, you know, running around in the store and you see anyone about, oh, that's my fraternity. I, maybe that's what I'm thinking. I mean, it, it did look kind of hot, though. It was a bad. It was sure thing. It was yeah. dope. Yeah. Shit, I would. Yeah. I, I don't want to say I would wear it because I knew what it. Would, I I knew a little bit more, I guess, than Bootsy did to know. Nah. You think you would have joined one if you went to college? No, no, no. You know what? I, let me not. Let me not. You gotta get educated first on it. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to throw that out right, right away because right. I'm thinking as a 36 year old, not an 18 year old, yeah. impressionable young man going the in there in it. and seeing yeah. the leadership behind it, things like that. I just know some of the things they had to do in order to go into uh -oh. it, and I don't know if behind the scenes, just behind the scenes, as a brother, I'm not. Everyone that got it earned it. I just don't know if the right of passage would have been the passage for me. Yeah, I mean, I heard a lot of different crazy things. Like, I don't know how you know true it is, but what I heard, I would never take part in. I couldn't do it. Yeah, maybe. I mean, again, let me get the guys in here. We can ask them and maybe get into it if they want off camera. But we go from there. I had I knew a couple people that, and I won't mention their name, as they were going through that experience at a college that we'll talk over to about behind the scenes. They realized it wasn't for them. And they dipped off without any notice. <laughs> and that wasn't good for them. I mean, you talk about how people seriously, people think that they was at, they was looking for that brother. Like he, he dipped a couple hours away and was still looking through certain window sills and shit, thinking that somebody was coming. Like he you thought it was hard. that deep. They go hard for them letters. Man. And you ain't just running off and without any explanation. Motherfucker, they say, no, nah, I'm out. I'm not with it. He's dead. Wow. So, man. You better be invested in it. If you want to do it, be ready. Yeah. Because you ain't yeah. just running off. Just like, if you know, gangs and stuff. I get it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, definitely. But you tune into the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast with your brother, Oh God, and Sam, and episode 294 in the book tonight. I'm going to take a quick look to see if we got anything else. But other than that, Can we man, talk about Khaled? Oh, no. Nah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm tripping. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Um, DJ Khaled. Where we at? Where we at? Right here. DJ Khaled.